Hello everyone, Poptolis100 here, and welcome to this tutorial to mod Stardew Valley on the PS Vita to show portraits. And also other mods too, but I haven't tested those yet. Anyway, we're going to want a few programs. You're going to want Total Commander 64, 64-bit, 64 or just Total Commander. There's a 32-bit option if you need it. And pretty much, you're going to want to install it. I've already installed it here, but you're just going to want to install it. doesn't matter where and doesn't matter what, but it's what you're going to use to mod Stardew Valley. You also want to get the My Dump of Stardew Valley because that is how you're going to mod the game. Even if you're using 3.68, it's a good idea to get this because you'll be able to get the contents un unencrypted with Sony's encryption. Now the main problem with this is that these folders right here don't actually have anything in them, but just folders. They literally don't use anything, so I would not recommend just putting your portraits in here and then try and get that to work. So instead, I recommend you go into con you copy this content file, copy it to your folder that you're going to be using, make a copy of that, because it's always nice to have a uh, oops, always nice to have. Too bad. It's always nice to have a backup. So anyway, so after you've got Total Commander installed in your content, you're going to want to download this file, which is a PSARC, or PSARC as I call it, plugin for Total Commander so you can open these files and mod them. Uh, I'll provide links in the description. If it says that it has a virus, don't worry about it. It doesn't. I've, tr I've tested it perfectly. And what you want to do is, once you get this installed, oh, so this is a paid program. So this is a demo version, but you must register it after a month. So think really hard about the mods you want, and if you want them, make sure to add them to a list, and then once you got all of them, you want to actually install them all at once. Don't, like, carry pick occasionally, and then, like, after a month, you'll realize that it's empty. Anyway, push the button that the number says, anyway, uh, and you see the PSARC version 1.4, you click it, and it'll ask if you want to install it. So you can say yes, but I've already gotten installed it, so I'm going to say no, but you say yes when you want to install that. Anyway, now we got that, uh, make a folder that you can easily access. So I got this one right here, this one just says Stardew Valley Mods. You click that, You and what you do is you open up your content PSARC file, I should just call it PSARC. So you open your PSARC file, you do control A, then you drag and drop. So unpack the selected files, make sure unpack path names if stored with files is checked. Extract them. And after a little bit, all the files will be extracted and you will be able to start modding them. Okay. So now I got these files extracted, let's go ahead and mod one. So let's go ahead and choose, open up this mod that I have for WinRAR, which is Rico's Portraits version 3.3. One mods literally every portrait in the game. And this one, you select Portraits, and you copy over from, from Total Commander. Don't just do it in regular. Select portraits, do control A, and then copy, or, and here, do this, copy like this. Copy, and then choose overwrite all. Should overwrite all the portraits, it will be good. Go compare, write the names off. Everything seems to be good. Yep, everything's good. Alright. Once you're done with that, you're gonna want to, once you're done installing all your mods, you're gonna want to pack. Choose pack, and you will have to choose an option. So, what you'll wanna do, first of all, make sure your Stardew Valley Mods folder is selected. Choose pack. Valley modding circuit. Make sure this is checked and these two you don't have to worry about. Then you just hit pack. 
Once it's done packing, you can rename the entire directory. Once it's done packing, you can rename the PSA. You can rename the SARC file, the content, and then you replace. Alright, so that's done. This one. There we go, anyway. We're gonna delete the pack, the Sark file here, and then we rename, I go here, rename this to content. And open up my in a new window. Content. Move to content and if you replace the portraits like me, the file size should be smaller. It'll be around this size. Once you're done with that, you just solve the game. In my dump. Don't know how to use my dump? Look other look up other tutorials. I can't really help you there. So pretty much that's how you install mods for Stardew Valley on the Vita. Most PC mods should work, but I haven't tested them completely. If one doesn't work, then it probably just won't work ever and you're gonna have to deal with it. Less people make mods for the Vita version. Anyway, that was it. Thanks for watching everybody. See you next time and have a tubular day.